So we're going to be talking about Trials of Osiris, specifically the new changes that Trials of Osiris got. And I have been enjoying my time in Trials of Osiris, which is such a weird thing to say, because not too long ago, I was legitimately hating it. So much so that I was actually jumping off the cliff, like just to get the, the bounty done and then fucking dip out. This, this change, however, it makes plain not only effortless because it has matchmaking, but even if I get a, a team that like Relax! destroys my Relax! it's okay because most likely the next match is gonna be fun. And even then, like I'm still gaining uh stuff from losing too. Like I'm gaining uh either engrams or I'll get like uh points towards uh uh towards Saint 14. Uh, so I, I personally dig this whole change. It's really good. As you guys can see, I have a passage of ferocity and I won the first match. The first match was actually pretty wild to me. Second match, we got we got destroyed. Third match, we, we actually won again. And then fourth match, we got destroyed again. So it's a really weird case of like, you do really, really good. And the game thinks like, oh shit, you're like, uh, you're like at like, <laughs> streamer status so we're gonna put you with some people and i'm like no 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 like i'm popping off but that's it uh so the matchmaking again like i said i don't really care that i've been getting pub stomped and then later i pub stomp i don't give a shit as long as i can actually match make into it it's i'm chilling because like at least i'm actually getting stuff and i don't have to find a team which is legitimately the most annoying part of trials of osiris was finding a team so for me matchmaking is just amazing i love it when it comes to rewards it's actually really fucking cool too so as you guys can see i'm currently brave one uh, again i started on saturday and played for like two to three hours and it's, it's they're very generous with the points i will say that especially if you keep going and keep, keep going round after round after round uh, as you guys saw my rounds i think i was like 20 rounds yeah i was at 20 rounds one and I didn't get flawless, but it incentivizes you to keep going, which is what's really cool. So even if you lose, you're still getting points even more, especially if you start winning rounds and your points start going higher and higher. Like it's ridiculous. I'll obviously have it on the screen right now, but I've been enjoying my time with it. And the reward system, again, you get trials engrams for, you know, for just ranking up, you get a powerful, then you get an upgrade module, which is fine. An enhancement prism, which is fine. An eye of soul that the role is not that, that great, but I mean, you get an eye of soul, which is cool. An upgrade module, uh, igneous hammer with subsistence, subsistence and snapshot sites, which I mean, for snapshot sites alone, I think that's really good. And then uh, obviously a golf ball. And then after the recent, I don't even, probably an exotic here. And then the only thing I, I don't know is do the trials bounties give you points towards the upgrade thing because if it does that's really cool if it doesn't i mean i i wouldn't waste my time with this and then when you get to the really cool part i wish i had an ingram so i could show you guys but if you if you do flawless you can actually give up your passage to get another adept version of whatever they're dropping you can, you can get armor the only thing is that the armor drops only when you already got it so like let's say for example you don't have the helmet you've never gotten it you actually can't grab that until you grab it from like a trials and gram or whatever so once you get it from like a trials and gram then you can actually buy these which i don't know why they would do that but whatever i i guess to like get random rules on on these but eh. uh then you then you get to the weapons i have soul the messenger Igneous Hammer, so, uh, Sola Scar, Shaira's Wrath, and Reed's Regret, which is pretty cool. Uh, unfortunately, like I said, you do have to unlock these weapons first before you can actually start farming them. But again, the system is so generous that you'll most likely get it. And speaking of the Trials Engrams, you can either spend it all here or you can go over here and it'll drop here. You just go to Raul and you'll get something. It's super dope. I love it. I've ended up getting the boots and the arms for the Titan. And I've never had any of the armor for any of the classes, at least the new armor. So that's pretty cool considering I didn't even try to get these and I already got them. I want to get a Reed's Regret. Oh, it's a, ooh. It's a stasis. I didn't know that. 
So yeah, I'm personally in love with the new changes for Trials of Osiris. I know there's a few people saying like, it's less prestigious to go to get flawless now and all that other dumb shit. Honestly, I, I don't give a shit. Like, you still got to win six, like seven matches in a row, right? Like, how is that less prestigious? I don't understand. And honestly, I don't give two shits because I just, I love the fact that I ended up getting just one Trials in Gram and I was like, I need a good Shira's Wrath. And the game was like, I got you, dog, and gave me tunnel vision and kill clip. And I was like, that's it. That's the role I wanted. So I'm actually really happy about this. These changes is really good. This is such a like new player friendly system. And even for older players, like if you just keep playing the card, you, you keep getting more shit. So I just don't see how this can be construed as like a negative. Like everything is such a dub. Uh, but let me know your thoughts in the comments below if you guys want to follow me on my social media all these links are in the description below bro honestly i can see myself going flawless this season which is super weird because i never really thought i would ever get that so let me know your thoughts in the comments below if you guys want to follow me on my social media all these links are in the description below i thank you all for coming up to this point and i'll see you guys later